Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. How y'all doing? It's Kaiser, and it's time to check in with how Disney's doing. And, <laughs> well, not so great. So still down from where they started a couple of days ago, up from uh, the absolutely disastrous uh, little bit of uh, stock trading that they had before. Currently $84.16. Way over that $82.41 where they were originally, but still below the $85.98 where they were at only a, a scant few days ago. And I have a very specific um, inkling that it's probably going to dip lower again starting sometime tomorrow or Wednesday. Because, well, as we all know, <laughs> guess what premieres tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow night, 9 p.m., the next episode or episodes of the Ahsoka TV show premiere. And, well, if that garbage fire could only get any worse, I don't know. But, uh, I'm holding my breath. I'm pretty sure it's going to happen. <laughs> it, oh, man. So, yeah, looking at the current stock numbers on there, and Disney is in a rough patch. Look, I know I've said that many, many times. But today is really the first time we've really started to see the wheels coming off the machine, so to speak. So buckle up, folks. Hang tight on tight. I'm going to give you the full down as a full lowdown, everything that's going on here. And there's a lot to unpack. So hold on tight, folks. It's about to get fucky. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so currently... We've already seen that uh, Disney's hit a nine-year stock low, dropping 58% in two years. But, well, some recent in things just happened that uh, actually show that the old, uh, the old giant that is Disney is in some serious trouble. So uh, they're even admitting now that there's... Uh, <laughs> they just had to admit to some serious problems. So their several of their recent Disney releases are underperformed. Their uh lust for more content is hurting them. Say so even James Gunn at mentions here in this article. Yeah, even mentions right here James Gunn himself has admitted that superhero fatigue is real and is having an adverse effect on the popularity of new titles. Indeed, Crawling through the seemingly infinite number of Disney titles within major franchises, Star Wars, and the MCU has left audiences feeling indifferent about them at best. Yep. You know, I've been saying it for a long, long time, and I know that there are some folks that have been uh, quite vocal about, yeah, there's no such thing as superhero fatigue. You don't know what you're talking about. Well, I mean, straight from the mouth of James Gunn himself, that superhero fatigue is real. Uh, I beg to differ. <laughs> uh, it's almost as if, like, you keep plugging away, you keep throwing all these additional series and shows and all this extra content out there that it gets to the point where people just don't care about what you're doing anymore. No way! I know. Wild. I know. Crazy, isn't it? So... Yeah, already over here, we're kind of looking at the, apparently, this giant advertisement. Why in the heck is that there? So, Marvel fatigue is finally happening, and, <laughs> well, how real is it? It's pretty real. So, yeah, the, yeah, Marvel is really ha having, hitting, a, hitting rock bottom, they're admitting that there's you know serious fatigue in the in the Marvel Cinematic Universe as well as Star Wars. Star Wars is doing absolutely terrible at this point. The Lucasfilm has run out of properties to run into the ground, and well, as it we've seen previously back on in May, Disney had to remove dozens of series and content from Disney and Hulu or Disney Plus and Hulu including Big Shot, Willow, Why, and Dollface. A number of these shows got axed because they just weren't drawing in folks to watch them, especially with the case of the Willow TV series, which was an absolute travesty in my opinion. 
And yeah, Deadline, even the Hollywood Reporter was quick to get their uh, their jabs in, talking about how much they had to lose a lot of content. And yeah, I mean, they lost $1.5 billion in their fiscal third quarter. That's really bad. But uh, it gets worse because now we're actually hearing that there's another Disney Plus show purge getting ready to happen. And yeah, there's uh, a lot to unpack here. Disney has seen better days recently as the company is expected to lose $11 billion this year. One billion came from the four failed blockbusters at and three and five Little Mermaid Secret Invasion. I'm not sure why they mentioned blockbuster one of the Secret Invasion or why they mentioned Secret Invasion being one of those quote blockbusters, but okay, fine. I think they should have probably put um, you know Elemental in there, but my opinion, Secret Invasion was definitely a flop though. Much of their loss has also come from the loss of millions of Disney Plus subscribers. This financial hemorrhaging will force Disney to raise subscription fees, crack down on password sharing, cancel, and lower as a can any lower rated film projects and institute a removal of any low streaming content. Yep. Called that one. So, yeah, dozens of Disney Plus projects have felt the swift, massive acts of Disney. Some of the most notable. Projects being Willow, The Mighty Ducks, Game Changers, Big Shot, The Mil Mystery, sorry, The Mystery, Mysterious Benedict Society, and recently Doogie Kamaloa, MD. Even highly anticipated projects in development like Spiderwick Chronicles ended up b before its execution. The pro latest project to sink into the abyss has been the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea TV series adaptation, Nautilus. Yep. So what makes Nautilus stand out from Spiderwick is that it was already shot, <laughs> a la Batgirl, at Warner Brothers. Production began as early as February 2022 in Australia, and Disney is claiming that it is working on the production with the production team to find another studio, but there are no guarantees. So they're, they kind of make two things at the same time here. They say that that one has already been shot. Hmm... And that, uh, yet they're also still trying to find a new studio for some things. Okay, interesting. <clears throat> Nautilus was supposed to be a massive 10 episode live action reimagining of Jules Verne's classic novel. The story would have centered around Indian prince Captain Nemo, uh, Sazad Latif, and his legendary submarine known as the Nautilus. He would have, he would form an eclectic team of adventurers as they battled formidable foes and explored mystical areas deep within the ocean unfortunately there is no current update if the, any studio plans to pick up the series yep so that one's pretty much gone and as we just mentioned a little bit ago that spiderwick chronicles is gone so yeah spiderwick chronicles and nautilus just got completely axed and it's making the rounds. They're saying that uh, Spiderwick Chronicles not going forward at Disney Plus as part of content cost cutting and strategy shift being shopped by Paramount and TV studios. Yep. Yeah, even Variety getting their kicks in on there. And of course, as we mentioned, Doogie Kamaloa, MD, canceled after two seasons at Disney Plus. Nobody seems to be watching these shows. And, uh,. <laughs> It's finally starting to uh, show that Disney, Disney is hitting a point where they literally cannot afford failure, which, you know, arguably they should have been focusing on actually making some profit early on. But hey, I mean, if if they need a kick in the pants, I mean, this is it. So the fact is they are going to be hard up for trying to figure what to do right now. They are going to be focusing, hopefully, on getting themselves together, figuring out what to do, and getting their getting their brand back up to snuff so that way they can start actually making some profit again. But I'm not exactly holding my breath, to be completely honest with you. Sort your fucking life out, mate! 
All right, folks, thank you so much for watching. That is all I've got for this quick episode. And just want to let you all know I have got more content coming on down the pipe. Got streams on Wednesday and Thursday this week. Thursday going to be covering the next episode or episodes of Ahsoka. And Wednesday, looking like we're going to be uh, covering possibly some recently interesting efforts uh, with, uh, you know, in good old Scotland. We'll more on that later. But otherwise, thank you all so much for watching. Keep an eye out for more content. Like, share, and subscribe. Appreciate you all. Have a great day, and I'll see you later. Peace.